Mario Paint, one of the weirdest titles on the Super NES, and in 2023, one of the roughest to go back and play. That's thanks to the controller. In 1992, Nintendo brought the first computer mouse to a game console. This thing here, rocking that iconic SNES color scheme. Problem is, it came out around a decade before the laser mouse, so it tracks your movement with an old school trackball, and it definitely feels dated. Can't really blame Nintendo, all mice were like that back then, but that doesn't make it any easier to use nowadays. For a drawing application like Mario Paint though, I think it works pretty okay. The game's super basic. There's some standard options for different brush sizes, shapes, options to fill things in and shade, but nothing really screams Mario. The music creating tool, on the other hand, is just awesome. You get tons of wacky sounds to choose from, and when you play something back, Mario runs along the top with the beat, which is a nice touch. It's a novel little experience, but not one worth seeking out present day.